Good day and welcome to the Leading with Nice Daily. My name is Matthew Ewell and this week we're going to talk all about gratitude. Now before I get into it, I want to remind you of two things. First is these weekly podcasts are being shot on video as well. They're available if you're not watching already on YouTube. Just go to youtube.com and search for Leading with Nice Daily and you can find them all there. We can pile them in one video so the entire week, all five days are in one video. The second thing I want to remind you of is this. We are so close to recording the week of our 100th episode. And when we do, we're going to be giving away five Amazon Alexa, uh, <laughs> five Amazon Alexa dots. So make sure you check out leadingwithnice.com to find out how you can win an Amazon Alexa dot. Now I want to talk to you about gratitude. And I miss my NBA I was so excited to see my Toronto Raptors head to on to repeat as NBA champions this year. They'd probably be tearing up either the or finishing up the second round victory over Philadelphia or uh, just starting their eventual defeat of the Milwaukee Bucks. We can talk about that in the comments if you like. On their way to meet the Clippers and redeem themselves. However, the reason I mentioned that is Kevin Durant. You know, now he's kind of a bad guy, but there is a time that he was thought of as one of the better guys in the NBA. And one of the reasons is this, and why I think his bad guy attitude is a bit of an act. You know, when he won his MVP, he got on stage and he started by thanking his players, fellow players, coaches, parent, mom, sisters, or family. And it went on from there. And he, then he thanked the massage therapist and people who worked the arena. And eventually he thanked 42 people, which is a lot more than most MVP award winners thank in their acceptance speech. I'm not saying others are not grateful, but there's something to be learned there. And we'll talk about that this week. For more on this topic, visit leadingwithnice.com, where we want to help you inspire others, build loyalty, and get results. Talk to you again tomorrow. Good day and welcome to the Leading with Nice Daily. My name is Matthew Ewell. This week we're talking about gratitude and before I get into it, I want to remind you that we're giving away five Amazon Alexa dots as we approach the recording of our 100th episode. Visit leadingwithnice.com to learn how you can win one. Okay, we're talking about gratitude. Now, yesterday I mentioned briefly that Kevin, Grant, Kevin Durant, as the leader on the Oklahoma Thunder, thanked 42 people in his MVP acceptance speech. Now, why would he do that? Well, you know, there's an in interesting stat uh, monster.co.uk did some research a few years ago and they found that gratitude was considered to be in the top 4% of desirable aptitudes in a leader. However, 58% of people said that they did not receive enough gratitude in the office. Now, why does that matter, right? They're just spoiled. Well, no, not so. What they found is when people do not feel they're being thanked enough in the office, they feel demotivated, right? And when they feel demotivated, they do their work slower with less quality and without any extra in it. And by extra, I mean, they just don't bring their best. So people who are thanked every day go above and beyond. Um, it is not hard to do things like this. Hey, thanks for your hard work. Hey, thanks for doing that. And you're like, well, why should I do that? They're supposed to get paid for it. Yeah, okay, but money's not everything, obviously. Even though those of us who feel we're motivated by money still want pats on the back. Now, maybe not in the same quantity as other people, but gratitude is a really simple way to ensure that your employees will feel motivated, give you their best, and work harder. So for more on this topic, visit leadingwithnice.com where we wanna help you inspire others, build loyalty, and get results. Talk to you again tomorrow. Good day and welcome to the Leading with Nice Daily. My name is Matthew Yule, and this week we're talking about gratitude. And I want to talk to you first, though, about an exciting contest we've launched, and it's over at leadingwithnice.com. And as we approach our 100th episode of this podcast, or flash briefing if you're listening on Alexa, is we are giving away one of, uh, you could win one of five Amazon uh, Echo Dots. And all the details are on leadingwithnice.com. I'd love for you to win one as a podcast listener. You already get extra entries. So check it out. So here's a really interesting stat. 
people who feel they receive enough gratitude in the office demand on average $3,000 less in salary. So one person, yeah, big deal, $3,000. It's, you know, could be significant, could be 5% of their annual salary, could be less than that if they're paid more. But think about it, $3,000 times 5, 10, 15, 20, 1,000, how many people do you have working for you by embedding gratitude in your culture? And now you might think it's only uh, people who earn less than 100K. Well, not so. The same research found that people who make over $100,000 equate gratitude to the same emotions and feeling as having the right to vote. They feel as strongly about their right to vote as they do about receiving gratitude. So those are, those are two amazing stats that by simply practicing gratitude, you can help increase the bottom line. Tomorrow, we're going to start talking about what some exercises are to increase your aptitude for gratitude because while you might have that naturally, are you expressing it in a way that's being received well? So for more on this topic, visit leadingwithnice.com where we want to help you inspire others build loyalty, and get results. Talk to you again tomorrow. Good day and welcome to the Leading with Nice Daily. My name is Matthew Ewell. This week we're talking about gratitude. And today I want to speak to you about how you can actually build it yourself. Before we do that, though, I want to remind you of the contest we have going on over at leadingwithnice.com. All you have to do is visit the website. There's a few ways to enter. And by being a podcast listener, you're already given some entries and it's to win one of five Amazon Alecho, Amazon Alexa Echo Dots. I can never say that properly. Okay, so a simple exercise, and you might laugh when I say it because you're thinking, oh, it can't be that easy. It is. So science has shown that by keeping a gratitude journal, you actually naturally start showing more gratitude. And it's not even hard stuff. So for example, when I was doing some research on this, I found one person all they did was wrote down, I woke up today and I had, I had the ability to watch TV tonight all, every day. And they kind of did that because they weren't really thinking it would work. But sure enough, they measured from their reports how much gratitude this person showed. And by simply being grateful they woke up every day and had the chance to watch their favorite show at night, they, their reports remarked that they had seen an increase in the amount of gratitude they showed them. So it's really simple. You don't have to buy a fancy book from the bookstore. You can use your phone. You can do it anywhere. But every day, start keeping track of things you're grateful for. And it can be as minute as you want. So for example, hey, the temperature's not so bad today. Hey, a friend uh, picked me up and drove me to work. Hey, uh, my boss uh, called me out in front of everybody to congratulate me on some great work I had done. Anywhere in between there. By keeping a gratitude journal, you're going to start teaching yourself what it feels like. It's going to uh, hit up some dopamine in your brain, and you will want to both give and receive gratitude. So it's that simple. So keep a gratitude journal. Do it every day. Be as simple or as detailed as you want. You'll start to see people you report to being more thankful for you because you're showing more gratitude to them. That's all for today. For more on this topic, visit leadingwithnice.com, where we want to help you inspire others, build loyalty, and get results. Talk to you again tomorrow. Good day and welcome to the Leading with Nice Daily. My name is Matthew Ewell, and this week we're talking about gratitude. And before I do that, I want to talk to you about a really awesome contest we have going on. You know, we're approaching the week of recording our 100th episode of the Leading with Nice Daily, and to celebrate... I want to give you one of five Amazon Alexa Echo Dots. So visit leadingwithnice.com. There's a place to enter the contest, and it's really simple. All you have to do is uh, click a button, and by being a uh, podcast listener or a uh, flash briefing subscriber, you already get some entries automatically, but you have to go to the website to make sure you get them. Now, today, I want to talk to you about a book written in 1993, and I have the name here, by George Valiant. And he was talking about replacing bitterness and resentment for acceptance and gratitude. And he wrote this in his 1993 book, The Wisdom of Ego. 
And what I thought was really interesting in this book is he talked about giving measured gratitude. And what he meant by that was not like, oh, hold some back because you don't want to get rid of it all. Like, no, that's not the case. You, you have an unlimited supply of gratitude in your body. What he was saying is you had to be genuine. So if somebody does something like buys you a cup of coffee, you don't throw a parade for them. You don't trumpet them around the office about how great they are. You are thankful in an appropriate way. If somebody buys you courtside tickets to uh, two-time NBA champions, Toronto Raptors, well, they'd be two-time champions if basketball resumed this year, courtside tickets for the finals, you don't just send them a little thank you card. No, you probably buy them the nicest bottle of wine or uh, write them a, a handwritten letter, not just a note. You know, it's about being genuine and about doing an appropriate response for their gratitude. And that not only builds your gratitude, but it also builds your integrity for being genuine. So it's really simple. Just when somebody does something like finishes a project at work, go over to their desk and say, hey, I really appreciate you working hard on this, man. You know, high five. Or if somebody um, really nails it at a quarterly meeting, you know, take them out for lunch a couple of days later and say, hey, I'm taking you out for lunch today because I want to say how how grateful I am for how good you are. Uh, did that quarterly report in front of the uh, the team. You know, be genuine, but of course, match your response for what they've done. And that'll be more authentic and they'll believe your gratitude. That's all for this week. For more on this topic, visit leadingwithnice.com where we want to help you inspire others, build loyalty, and get results. We'll talk to you again next week.